Good evening. Who is it? Hello, guys. I'm fine. Good evening. Hello, Good evening. Evening. Welcome to Hello. another class here at English Corporativo. Thank evening. you very much for being here on time. Gracias por estar a tiempo. Um, guys, it's another class, and we have to take uh, we have to take advantage of it. Hay que meterle para que podamos aprovechar el tiempo. Who remembers yesterday's topic? El tema de ayer. Different kind of question. I'm sorry. Different kind of question. Exactly. How often? Mm -hmm. How long? No. How That's right. Often? How long? How well? How long? How good? Exactly. Those are the questions that we were practicing yesterday. So, how do you say, um, ¿cuánto tiempo te tardas en, en el seguro social? How long? How long is too much time in the social uh -huh. security? How long you take? Uh, say with me, please. How long you take? How long do you how take? How long you take? Uh -huh. you take? Bueno, sí. I'm sorry. He, how long do you take es la forma gramática. How long you take es la forma así más como, como normal, de calle. So, okay. I'm sorry about it. How long do you take at ease? So, how, how long do you take at ease? Uh -huh. How long do you take, guys, when you go to ease? How long do you take? How long do you take at ease? How long do you take at ease? How long do you take at ease? Maybe... Six hours. <laughs> Six hours? Maybe. Uh, yeah, that's a long yeah. time. When is first? Five, five hours. Five, five hours. hours. Uh -huh. Okay. Good, good. Now, if you want to say, ¿Qué tan seguro vas a Liz? ¿Qué tan, ¿Qué tan seguro <laughs> vas a Liz? ¿Qué tan seguro? ¿Qué tan seguido? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. How often? Exactly. How often? How often? Uh, how often? Uh, how often do you go? You come. Do you go? Ir. Do you go? Do you go? Do you go? go? Is. Seguro social. Oh. Go oh, to okay. is. Teacher, three months. Every three months. How every do you say cada three tres meses? Every, every, uh, every three months. Every three months. Months. Good. Every three months. Good. How do you say qué tan bueno eres hablando inglés? Oh. How well do you speak English? Qué tan bueno eres o qué tan all bien good. hablas? No, how good. How are you speaking how English? Good. How good are you how speaking English? How speaking English. English. Repeat after me, please. How good are you speaking are English? You speak English? How good are you speaking English? English? How are you speaking English? Good. ¿Qué tan bien hablas inglés? How well are you speaking English? How well, almost, casi le pega el gordo. How well do you speak English? How well? Uh -huh. How well do you speak English? ¿Qué tan bien hablas inglés? What right. is the difference when you do uh, and are, you are and do? It's a different structure. Oh, but the meaning is different too, or what? No. Yes. The meaning. How are, for example, how are you doing? ¿Qué tal estás? How are you dancing? ¿Qué tal estás bailando? Generalmente ese how are you viene con um, ing in the continuous mm -hmm. form. Okay. It's a different, a whole different animal. <laughs> a different okay. structure. All right, guys. What do you know about the past tense? Past tense. Mm -hmm. past when tense. do we use past? So, simple past. Mm -hmm. I was uh, working in the afternoon. No, almost no. there. But Maybe. do you know when to use it? ¿Saben mm -hmm. cuándo ocupar el simple past? Mm -hmm. No? Don't worry mm -hmm. about it then, because that's what we're going to learn today. Okay? Hoy vamos a aprender cómo ocupar el simple past. So, okay. read it with me, please. Listen, objective. Yep. Listen objective. Listen objective. In this session, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation 
participant will listen to a conversation about two people about, about two people, two people. people and, and the activities they did during the past weekend during the past weekend during the past weekend now let me finish okay déjeme terminar Okay. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. Go. In this session, In this session participants, participants will listen, will listen, listen to, to a conversation, conversation about, about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. The past weekend. The past weekend. The activity they did during the past weekend. There you go. Muy bien, guys. No importa cómo se tarden, no importa si lo hacen al ritmo de los demás o no. Terminenlo. Good job. I like that, um, Blanca. So, en esta clase, participantes escucharán a dos personas hablando sobre las actividades que hicieron el fin de semana pasado. Before we go, I need a volunteer to read in English, not in Spanish. Okay? I doubt it. Go. I, I, um, I know your name is not Monica Cabrera. No, es Héctor. Es que Hector. es computadora de, de mi hija. <laughs> okay, good, good. That was... <laughs> Así como que, ok, Hector, uh, go ahead and read, please. Eh, in this session, in, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. There you go, good job, liked it. Ok, so we're going to be watching a video. And here they are going to be talking in past tense, ok? I just want to mention, guys, that past tense oh, is you. an activity finished in the past. Okay? Repeat it after me. Activity finished in the past. Activity, activity finished, finished, in, finished the in the past. In the past. Exactly. Okay? No es que yo estaba comiendo, es yo comí. No. Ya terminó. Yo comí. Okay? I jumped. Yo salté. Ahí murió esa acción. Que pueda volver a saltar otras 30 veces en un minuto, si usted quiere, dele. Pero la acción de saltar, de la que usted habló, ya terminó. ¿Estamos claros okay. con eso? ¿Are we clear? Yes. Good. So let's yes. mute your microphones and let's pay attention to this, please. Hi to all. Welcome to Section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. <laughs> All right, so that was the simple past. Simple past. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation. Just give me a second, here it is. All right. Now, the past, let's, you can let's go ahead and read it with me, please, guys. Great. So. Great time. So. So. Great time. Okay, good. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? So, oh, what, so what did you do last weekend, last weekend Meg? Good. Entonces, ¿qué hiciste el fin de pasado? Literalmente, así, el, el fin de anterior. En, en Salvadorian, el fin de pasado. Mm -hmm. um, Hector, how do you say que hiciste el fin de pasado? Mm -hmm. How do you say that in English? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de pasado en inglés, Hector? How, how did you... 
um, the activities the last weekend. What did you do last weekend? Repeat what did you do last weekend? I stopped. Oh, I had a great time. Oh, I had a great time. Had a great time. Had a great time. time. I went to a karaoke, karaoke bar and sang with some Saturday. 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 Adonai, help me with that one, please. Everything. I had a great time. I went to a karaoke and sang with some friends on Saturday. Good. Some friends on Saturday. Friends. Okay. Good. That's fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Did you go to Lucky's? Lucky's. 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 Okay. Sound like you go to Lucky's? Good. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Everybody, we went to that new place in town. We went to that new place in town. How about you? How about you? How about you? Did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere? Good. Now let me finish and then repeat, all right? No, okay. we didn't. We went to that no, we downtown. Didn't. How about you? Did you go anywhere? Now you do it. Go. No, 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 we, no we, we didn't. didn't. We, we went, went to, new to new place downtown. downtown. Place downtown. Place How downtown. About, about you? Did you, about you? Did you, did go, you go, did you go anywhere? anywhere? Nice. I need Roberto to read down everything. No, we didn't. We went to that place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, we didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed. I just stayed. I just stayed, I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Spanish test. Good. Um, let's see. Spanish test. I'm ready to mention it. No, 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 Solo me oh, casa y estudiar el examen de hoy de español. Good. No, help me out and read this one, please. But after everybody. No, I didn't. No, I didn't go all weekend. I just stayed and started for the Spanish test. Everybody, go. Okay. No, no, no I didn't go all weekend. We just stayed home and started for the Spanish test. Good. Leo, your turn. Just okay. you. Okay. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. Mm -hmm. I just stayed. Come and study for today's Spanish test. Uh -huh. Today's Spanish test. Hello? Today's Spanish test. All right, very good. So, next one. Our Spanish test today. Our Spanish test today. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Nuestro examen de español es ahora. Se me olvidó completo. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot about that. Go. Spanish, Spanish, Spanish today. Spanish today. I forgot about that. Good, thank you. Claudia Sandoval, can you help me with that one, please? Claudia? Hello, Claudia. Hola, good night. Hi, good evening. Can you please be that? Our Spanish is today. I forgot all about that. Uh, just the internet. Our Spanish test today. Okay. Our Spanish test. Our Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. Uh, I forgot about that. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, please don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You always. Get, you always get. 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 También está el A plus, un, la A más y la A más más. Okay. ¿Por qué? I'm not really sorry to be honest. That's uh, something I'm... Uh, look, help me with this one. Don't worry. You always get an A. Don't worry. You always get, get an A. 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 So what you can do right now, guys, is that I'm going to send this image to the WhatsApp group. And I wanted to practice it for three minutes. You know the drill. Eso significa, ya saben que hacer. You know the drill. And uh, you're going to be changing. So first, you are one person. And then you change your participation. All right? So okay. please go ahead and accept the invite. I'm going to open up five rooms. Here. Invite sent. 
Si son tres, se lo van cambiando, ¿ok? Three minutes non-stop. Tres minutos sin parar. Okay, you're getting there. So we're missing Lino, Luis Molina, and Monica Cabrera, and, and Hector. Sorry, I don't see your picture. Luis, you okay? You're muted, stay mute. Uh, okay. Le llegó el, el botoncito de join? Yes, of course, I, I push it. You push it. Yeah. Push it. I, I don't know what happened. Okay, don't worry. Let me send another one. What about now? Hoy sí le salió? No. No? Okay, entonces quédese acá. No acepte nada. Porque aquí vino Héctor. Entonces trabaje con Héctor. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So we got three minutes here. Hector, do you copy? Hector. It seems it's not there. All right, so in that case, go ahead and practice with me. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Luis? I did a cooking for my family. Uh -huh. All right, now just practice with, the, with this. Just repeat the structure. Okay. So, oh, I had a great time. The same conversation, just practice. Okay, the similar, the, the last conversation. And the same, exactly the same. The same, ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember very well that, the last conversation. It's in the chat, it's in the chat. Uh, okay. And Hector, practice with, with Luis, please. Hector. Can you hear me, Hector? I don't know. No, I think his connection is, is, is unstable right now. All right, so let's continue practice. practicing. Do you have it in front of you? What? Do you have the, the conversation in front of you? I don't understand, teacher. ¿Tiene la conversación the, the last... frente a usted? No. La que acabamos de hacer. No, no, no. no. All right, so la mandamos al grupo en una foto. Ah, okay. Let me check. Because mm -hmm. we got like one minute already. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I, I, I got it. Got it. You're Rick and Meg. Okay. So what do you do last weekend, Meg? Meg. Meg. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Do you go to uh, Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Uh -huh. Today's, hay que seguir con la S por el posesivo. Today's okay, to Spanish test. Today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Aha, uh -huh, get an A. Good job. Now I'm Rick and you're Meg. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. All right. Good job, sir. Okay. Un poquito más de práctica y vamos con todo. Good job. Okay. Yeah, I need practice. Mm -hmm. I, need, I need more practice conversation. Yeah, that's what we're trying to, to get. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. And Hector is still with the I, unstable connection. I don't know what happened with Hector. He lose. All right. So we're 
little by little, we are getting back and we're gonna continue working on this thing, all right? So today, okay. we are working with simple past, okay? Remember, simple past is gonna be used for finished actions. Vamos a ocupar el pasado simple para situaciones que ya terminaron. Okay. So, the let's go ahead and cover past. this. How many verbs can you find, guys? ¿Cuántos verbos pueden encontrar? In the first line, what is the verb? Did for in the first line. Mm -hmm. Did be do. Did do. Ya les explico por qué. Here I had a great time. Uh, maybe when uh, when had uh, sang went, sang sang. Went. Went, write them down, write them down, guys, because we might use them. Had, went, sang, sank, sank, sang, sang. Mm -hmm. sang. Found, like. sounds is a verb too. Mm -hmm. Sound is a verb. Suena, that sounds like fun. Okay. Is the part the sink? Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. go. Another one went, went. went. Mm -hmm. went. Again, go, 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 Stayed. Stayed. go, 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 so try to keep those verbs in mind because we are going to use uh, several of those verbs right now. So read it with me, please. In this session, in this, in session, this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and irregular verbs will also be Irregular and irregular verbs will also be taught. Taught, good. Taught is the past of teach. Taught. Taught, say it with me, taught. Taught. That will be the past of teach. Out. All right. In esta clase, se presentarán preguntas y respuestas del pasado. Verbos regulares e irregulares también se estudiarán. Oh. Okay, so we're going to pay attention to this simple past video. As soon as it loads. I'm having a lot of issues with the internet connection right now. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Can you hear? Yeah. Welcome back. Yes. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, 
Every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Right. So remember that simple past is going to be used for finished actions. Acciones que terminaron. Now let's go ahead and pay attention to the structure. Okay. Sorry. The internet is acting up. My internet is totally a total disaster right now. Completo disaster. So let me work with the chat right here to fix that thing. The structure is going to be did plus subject plus verb base plus complement and the question mark. Okay? Now, como les estaba explicando el video, cada vez que nosotros ocupamos el auxiliar did, el verbo va a ir en la forma base. ¿Okay? Solo cuando estamos hablando en afirmativo, cambiamos el verbo al pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque el auxiliar ya está en pasado. So, how do you say, ¿estudiaste ayer? Did you study Did yesterday? You study yesterday? Did you study yesterday? yesterday? Siempre la entonación para yes, no questions va para arriba. Did you study yesterday? Did you study did you yesterday? Study yesterday? yesterday? Good. So, tenemos el did. El sujeto es you. El verbo en base. Nunca lo decimos en pasado porque tenemos el did. Y el complemento ayer. Ok. Now, okay. Um, you give me an example, please. Denme ustedes ejemplos de, de preguntas que podemos hacer en pasado. General. Ayer. Ok, good. How do you say, trabajaste ayer? Did you work did yesterday? yesterday? I did you work yesterday? So good. Ahora cambiémosle el complemento y otros verbos. Did you run last week? Ahí está. Good. ¿Corriste la semana pasada? Did you run last week? Give me some more, guys. Give me some more examples. Did you take a shower in okay. the afternoon? Did you take a shower in the afternoon? ¿Te bañaste en la tarde? Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? Did you, did, you, did you cook your dinner? Ok. Did you cook dinner? ¿Hiciste la cena? No. Your dinner. Sí se puede, pero entonces yeah, ahí es no. como que solo uno es egoísta y solo cocinó para uno mismo. Oh, para uno, ah, ok. Ajá, pero aquí <ríe> cocinaste la cena, toda la fam, you, todo el okay. familión puede venir a cenar. Okay. Teacher, right. hear, hear me. Yeah, I hear you. Did you read news okay, yesterday good. in the night? Did you read the news? Siempre va el artículo the. the. The news. The news. Last night, anoche. How do you say anoche? In the night, yesterday. Last night. Last night. Good, good, Last night. That's a very Did good question. Did you do your homework? Uh, <coughs> ahí va. Did you do your, perdón, did you do your homework? Did you do your homework? Homework? The last week. The last, so, uh, yesterday. Ok, pongámosle. Did you do your homework? Porque ya sabemos que es la de ayer ahorita en el contexto. Mm. Good. So, as you can see, guys, you're going to have did, subject, the verb in the base form, and the complement. Now, okay. cambiémosle el sujeto. Sí. En vez did de you... you Pongámosle he, eat. she, it, we, they. Lo que ustedes quieran o nombres. Give me, ask me more questions, please. I'm going to give you the one. Did Adonai, did Adonai come to class? Imaginemos que fuera clases presenciales. ¿Vino Adonai a clases? Did Adonai come to class? 
Did he come to class? Ajá. Did he come to class? I es lo come. mismo. Did, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Nada okay. cambia, <laughs> pero en vez de decir he, dijimos Adonai. All right? Give me more questions, please. Or ask me more questions. Did, teacher, podría preguntar, um, did Adonai tell me rain over your neighborhood last night? Mm. Did Adonai, vamos bien, sujeto, ¿Cómo verbo. Se podría, okay. What is the question? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Sí. La uh, pregunta es si, si llovió sobre su, si subió, si llovió sobre, su, sobre su vecindario anoche. Ah, ok. Did it, did it rain? Did in your it rain? Mm -hmm. Did it rain over neighborhood? neighborhood? Did it rain in your neighborhood? Did Cuando you know? hablamos mm -hmm. de fenómenos meteorológicos, ocupamos it. En vez del sujeto. Did it rain in your neighborhood? Did it rain in your neighborhood? Good, good, good. All right. So, is this structure clear? Yes. ¿Está clara la estructura? Good. And the answer is going to be yes. Yes, I did. Say it with me. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. I did. Mm. So, vamos a ocupar yes, I did. Si nos preguntan algo, did you study yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. yes, I hey, did. Um, Claudia, did you work yes. yesterday? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, good. And uh, if we have the negative, guys, it's going to be didn't. No, I did. no, no I, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't. El truco en esto está acá. Ese espacio que ustedes ven en blanco... Si nos preguntan con you, tenemos que contestar con I. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Si, nos si nos preguntamos a nosotros mismos, me bañé ayer. Sí, me bañé ayer. Entonces, con I. <risa> con I y you, la respuesta va a ser I. I. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Now, con los demás, con he, she, it, we, they, vamos a ocupar cualquiera de los pronombres que salen en la pregunta. Por ejemplo... Did he travel? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did she take a shower? Yes. I don't know. She did. She did. No. No, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't. Did we have class yesterday? Yes. No, yeah, no, I, did. no, I, no. no I didn't. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Va, espérame, espérame, espérame. Escucha una pregunta. <laughs> did we have class yesterday? Tuvimos clase uh -huh. ayer. We. Yes, we did. Oh. Yes, I did. Yes, no, I we did. Didn't. Yes, yes, we I did. did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And we did. did. Yes, we did. Did they sing in the karaoke? Did they sing in the karaoke? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They no. Didn't. No, they didn't. They didn't. Ahí estamos. Very good. Yes, they did. And no, they no, didn't. No, they didn't. Okay? So, si nos okay. preguntan con we, contestamos con... We. 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 Con they? They. 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 It's exacto. Con he, he, she, she. En la respuesta tenemos la pregunta y viceversa. Okay? Good. Okay. So, guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to be practicing this, we're gonna be practicing this for, uh, for several minutes, actually. Vamos a practicar esto por varios minutos. En el chat tienen la estructura. Y necesito que sean preguntas. Nuevamente... No seamos muy meques, vea. O sea, pregunta ahí, mira, ¿y tuviste problemas con tu mujer ayer? Nada de eso. Ok. So, ok. Vocabulario normal, no sean, no, cosas normalitas que cualquiera puede contestar. So, guys, go ahead and accept the invite. I'm going to be checking your, your work. Metiéndome a los grupos. Breakout rooms. And we're going to change it a little bit. Vamos a meter más gente en los grupos. En el grupo está el, 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 las preguntas. No, no, ustedes las van a hacer. Y a patar al pecho. All right. Tell so, me my invitation. There you go. Ahí estamos. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're going to have 10 minutes for this and explain it to yourself if you need it.
Okay. Claudia, ¿te llegó la invitación? Did you get the invite? Hello, hello. Ok. All right, Claudia, ¿me escucha? Good. This Hector session is not a real session. Your neighborhood last night? Did hey. it rain in your neighborhood last night? Uh, uh, no, no, it, 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 no, it didn't. Good. Okay. Hoy, eh, hoy tú, Claudia. Okay. Uh, did you, uh, did you, um, ay, se dice la barropa es laundry, do you laundry? Did you do uh, the laundry? Did you do laundry yesterday? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Good question. Is it? Can you? Uh, did you eat pupusas today? No. All right. You're doing a good job, so let me check another group. You're doing great. Keep it up. The more, the better. Take a shower uh, this, this in the evening. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I take a shower in the afternoon. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I took. Go ahead, Blanca. Okay, uh, Blanca. Uh, did you cook dinner today? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I did. I did. No, excuse me. Yes, I did. Okay. okay. Uh, Lino. Yes. Uh, did Did you uh, work? In the in the English platform, platform. English class platform. platform 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 forum termine con m platform platform mm -hmm. okay. yes I, yes I did okay okay Luis yes did you do exercise uh, in the morning exercise no ex no no i didn't okay no, i didn't exercise in the morning did you do exercise okay um blanca did he lino did lino no puede ser he and lino ah, yeah, i'm sorry yes uh -huh. thank you those? thank you did lino did lino read the the, the news and la prensa gráfica today Mm -hmm. uh, repeat, please. Mm -hmm. Did Lino read the news okay. today? Uh, they, no, you, he? You, you can ask Lino, hey, Lino, did you? Porque le está preguntando de Lino, vea. Entonces usted yeah. le puede preguntar a Lino, Blanca. Lino, ah, okay. uh -huh. did you read the news? <laughs> Y luego okay. usted le contesta, yes, he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> did, yes. did, did you, Lino, did you uh, raise uh, el diario de hoy, me dijo? Ajá, oh, de la you. prensa gráfica. Ah, <laughs> el, yo creí que el diablo, el diablo de hoy. <laughs> Lino, did you uh, uh, listen? No, read the news. Perdón, did you rain... Eh, read. Rain, read. rain, rain, uh -huh. rain, rain. Sería acá, read, read. Rain, rain. Rain, eh, de prensa, la prensa gráfica, de prensa gráfica. La prensa gráfica. Uh -huh. They? No, I didn't. Ok. All right, y ahora usted conteste a Luis. ¿Mm? No, eh, he didn't. No. Eh, no, Lino didn't. No, okay, didn't. he didn't. Ajá. No, no, podemos ah, no didn't he or Lino didn't. He didn't. Exactly. Ah, okay, no, he didn't. That's okay. right. All right, continue. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. Try to okay. give long answers. Respuestas largas. 
Good job. Okay. The So, did you drink coffee uh, this morning? Yes, I did. Okay. okay. Good. Now, what I need you to do, guys, is to include long answers. All right. So, we're, is the same as simple present, subject, verb, complement, with the difference that the verb is in past. I drank instead of I drink. And I didn't drink. That's the negative. So try to give long answers to these yes, no questions. For example, ask me a question, please, Adonai. Um, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. me, teacher. Okay, um, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Did you have breakfast in the morning, teacher? Um, let me see. Oh, yes, I did. I ate eggs, beans, and uh, buns of bread. Boyo de pan, buns of bread. Okay. Okay, very good. So that's what I wanted to do. Necesito que ahora no solo contesten con la yes, no question, sino que le metan más información. Did you take a shower today? No, I didn't because I didn't have time. No tuve tiempo. I didn't want to. No quise. So try to get more information, please. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, did you receive a homework everyone? Uh, did you receive everybody's homework? Everybody's homework. Yes, correct. Yes, I did. I didn't. I didn't have time to check it. Ah, no, no tuve tiempo de de chequearlo. Okay. Now you ask Emerson for anything else. Um, okay. Um, I don't know. Did you watch TV? This afternoon? Yeah. Afternoon. Yes, uh, I did. I see. Watched? I watched uh, a serial, a movie. Uh -huh. um, good. That's good. All right. The so. The name of the movie is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Está bueno. The name of the movie is. Lo que más. Mientras más diga, mejor. Ataque el camión. Ataque el camión blindado, pero no sé cómo decirlo en español, en inglés. I don't, I don't really know. Depende. Las, las palabras, por ejemplo, home alone no significa mi pobre angelito. So I don't know what is the name of that movie in English. Armored truck mm. is um, camión blindado. It could be the, the robbery, the armors, armored trucks robbery. Por ejemplo, eh, en la portada decía Empire State. Va, nada que ver. No. <laughs> Empire State is the name of a building. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so continue, guys. Come on. Aquí es donde vemos que la estructura no es tanto, sino es el vocabulario. Ok. Entonces, si, yeah. tienen, si tienen enfrente de ustedes una compu, pues busquemos verbos. Siempre con verbos a la mano. Ok. Yes. Eh. Mm -hmm. Did you did you do the exercise today, uh, Emerson? Yes, I did. I I did I did it in five minutes. Nice. Okay, continue. Let me check another group. Okay. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Hello. All right. Now I work every four days. I work every fourth day. Ah, uh, no, uh, but uh, twenty-four uh, hours every day. Or no, I work every. I work every fourth day. 
Cada cuatro, cada, cada cuatro días. ¡Ah! Es lo que no entendía, cada cuatro días trabaja, pero le toca trabajar las 24 horas. Así es. Uh. Yes, it is. Okay. Good. Uh, guys, what I need you to please do right now is answer with more information. For example, mm -hmm. did you have breakfast? Yes, I did. Y ahí muere el ejercicio que estábamos haciendo antes. Ah, ok. Pero ahora quiero <laughs> que metan más información. I ate beans and eggs. Huevos y frijoles. Okay, so okay. after you answer, métanle un poquito más. You got four minutes and then we go back. Okay. okay. I'm here to help you. You can repeat the previous questions if you want, but now you change the answer. Pueden repetir las preguntas de antes, pero ahora okay. digan la respuesta corta y luego una larga. Did you work um, eight hours all weekend, uh, Claudia? Uh, for, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, is the actually I don't work. Okay, wow. and you listen? And you listen? Yes. Uh, ask me the question, please. Did you work eight hours? All weekend? All week, pardon? All week? No, I didn't. I stay at home. Okay. Good, good, good. And now you ask for me? Now you ask okay. me. Ask me. Mm -hmm. uh, did you cook? Yes, I cook. What do okay. what, what do you what do you cook? Yes, uh huh. Good. I cook um eggs and um. What se dice? Um, um, While you think, you gotta say cook, cook, sing, cook, cook, cook. Con te al final, cook, 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 cook. 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 Cut. Cook. Okay, we're gonna work on that tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, continue. The more, the better. Um, acá, guys, es muy importante que tengan siempre una lista de verbos, que memoricen verbos a diario, unos siete verbos del día. Okay. Porque la estructura es fácil, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sí. Vocabulario es lo que necesitamos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got two more minutes. Hector, did you read a book? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál leyó? Ahora dígale cuál. I what read... Can... I read... The... I read the... Um, newspaper. Oh, okay. That's not a book, but yeah, good answer. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. Another example. Did you um, watch um, a movie, Claudia? Uh, yes, I I did. Uh, I watch. Uh, I watched. I watched. Watched. I watched the. Ay, ¿cómo que se llamó esa? Um, and your black, uh, uh, you meet uh, Joe Black. Conoces a Joe Black, lo que es español, pero no sé si en inglés se dice así. Uh -huh. The names of movies, it can be, they were asking me in another group, el ataque al camión blindado, and the name was Empire State. Nada que ver. <laughs> in my case, in my case, he said, I, 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 I saw the, the movie, Watched in the evening. I watched the movie in the evening last that day. The name of the movie is um, San Andreas Falls. Well, um, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. La Falla San Andreas. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
for okay. this moment is terrible. See that movie. That's right. This is the, the movies. This is apocalyptic. Yes. <laughs> Guys, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're just waiting for the rest. They'll be here in a minute. In a few seconds, actually. Part of the segundos. Okay, guys. So, thank you very much for coming back. Thank you, thank you. Recommendation for tomorrow. Okay. Mañana vamos a estar viendo siempre con pasado simple. Vamos a tratar de cubrir la estructura un poquito rápido para que podamos eh, practicar. Sin embargo, me estoy fijando que estamos un poco faltos de vocabulario, lo cual no es malo, es principiante, no es entendible. Entonces, siempre traten de memorizar por lo menos unos siete verbos al día en, okay. en, en base, en pasado y en participio, que son las tres columnas que normalmente están. Porque si nosotros no tenemos vocabulario, nos va a ser muy difícil participar. Literalmente, la estructura es simple, no dije fácil, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Pero si no, no sabemos verbos, si no sabemos las de complemento, nos va a costar un poquito. Así que um, vean un poquito de, uh, hoy no va a haber tarea en, en sí de esto. Perdón, el lunes, para el lunes, ya no hay clase. Ok, teacher, could you please uh, send the adverbs at the group? I'll send the some. Puedo mandar algunos, pero no todos. Eso tiene que ser algo personal. Por ejemplo, el verbo imprimir puede que no le sirva a usted. Por ejemplo, um... ah. ok. All right. Good, guys. So, simple past. Lunes vamos a ver WH questions. Me pueden contactar, preguntas. He estado un poquito ocupado estos días durante la tarde, pero yo espero estar un poquito más desocupado mañana. Cruzo los dedos. Any question, let me know, okay? Simple pass. Monday, watch videos on how to okay. use it. Prepárense. Get out of okay. here, guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Take care. Have a nice Thank weekend. you, teacher. Good, Good night. night. Teacher, one question. Night, everyone. Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Good night. Good, Good night. Teacher. Have a, have a nice ask, weekend. Only, ask me the question. Only one question. Uh, in the... In the... In the En las guías que han mandado y todo eso, ahí aparecen unas actividades de contestarlas. Uh -huh. La semana, eh, bueno, el día que me lo mandaron, yo empecé a leerlo y quería contestar algunas, pero no, no sé si se están uh -huh. yendo o no. No sé si las están recibiendo o no. Me refiero a estas, a estas, a esas preguntas que aparecen acá. Ok, las de la plataforma. Entonces, yo quería... Ajá, yo quería contestarlas y enviarlas y pues ahí vamos a ir viendo si avanzamos o no, pero tenía mi duda con respecto a eso. Sí, abajo, ¿Esa, si la contestamos? Ab abajo tiene que dar eh, enviar o submit, dependiendo del ejercicio. Pero yo le he dado varias veces submit y no, 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 se no sé si se van o no, ajá, no sé si se van o no. Okay. Porque al menos regreso de nuevo a la pantalla, a la pantalla inicial y no... Y me, y me borra todas las respuestas. Entonces, no sé si las estoy mandando. O si... okay. um, en ese caso, hay que ver el porcentaje. Si tú ves que tu porcentaje de, de, de que vas completando la, la plataforma va subiendo, es porque sí. Si no, eh, contáctate en los números de soporte técnico de la plataforma para que puedan ver si tiene algún glitch, algún problema con el sistema. Ok, okay porque vaya, al menos en el avance me aparece sí, Ojo, en verde, oye. varias. Ah, pues sí, tendría que ser. Pero, nuevamente, si tienen algún problema con la plataforma, sería de chequearlo con ellos. Ah, si no, contacta. Ah, okay. pero eh, me puedes contactar mañana porque tengo una clase justo ahorita, la siguiente clase. De, disculpa, menos que te quiera cortar, pero sí tengo otra clase okay. ahorita. Bien. Ok, ok. Y me puedes textear para ayudarte a revisar. Si okay. no, sería con los chamacos de soporte técnico. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, right. profe. Thank you, sir. Have a good night, guys. Good night, Take care. Ok, see you. Good night. Take care. Good night.